why your check engine light turns on and off randomly. So you're driving along and boom, the check engine light pops on. Maybe the car still feels fine or maybe it stumbles a bit, but then next time you start it, the light's off again like nothing ever happened. A few days go by and there it is again. What's going on? Let's break this down in simple terms. The check engine light or CEL comes on when your car's computer the ECM or PCM detects something wrong with the way the engine, emission system or transmission is running. But not every issue is constant. Some problems only show up under certain conditions. Like when the engine's cold, when you're accelerating hard or even just when the weather changes. One of the most common reasons for a check engine light that turns on and off randomly is an intermittent sensor issue. You might have a worn oxygen sensor a crankshaft or camshaft position sensor that's starting to fail, or even an MAAF mass airflow sensor that's got some dirt on it. These sensors might send a weird reading just once in a while. When it happens, the ECM catches it and throws a code. But if it doesn't happen again for a while, the computer might turn the light off on its own. Another super common cause is the gas cap. Yep, something as simple as a loose or faulty gas cap can trigger the check engine light. If the cap isn't clicked in all the way, or the rubber seal is cracked or dried out, it can let air leak into the fuel tank, which throws off the evaporative emission system. The computer sees that as a problem and turns on the light. But once the cap seals again, like after you tighten it, the system rechecks itself over the next few drives. If everything looks okay, it will shut the light off on its own. You might also be dealing with a vacuum leak, like a cracked hose, a brittle PCV valve line, or a loose intake connection. These kinds of leaks can be affected by temperature and pressure. Sometimes they seal themselves up just enough when things expand from heat. Other times, they only show symptoms when the engine's cold or under load. So the light comes and goes depending on those conditions. Electrical gremlins can do the same thing. Corroded connectors, a weak battery, or a bad ground can all cause weird sensor readings or voltage drops. If a sensor briefly loses connection or gets moisture in its plug, it might throw a false reading. Then once it dries out or reconnects properly, the system seems normal again, until the next hiccup. It's also worth mentioning how the ECM handles codes. There are pending codes that show up when a problem happens once but the computer waits to see if it happens again before it turns the light on permanently. So if something glitches for just a second, like a lean air fuel ratio or a small evap leak, the code might be stored, but the light might not stay on unless it happens a few more times. So what should you actually do about it? First, don't ignore it. Just because the light turns off doesn't mean the problem is gone. The computer may have just stopped seeing the issue for now, or it might still be storing a code in memory. Even if the CEL is off, you can scan for pending or stored codes using an OBD2 scanner. Auto parts stores like AutoZone, Advance, or O'Reilly will usually loan you a scanner for free. Plug it in under the dash, check the code, and write it down, even if it says pending. Knowing the code gives you a head start, for example, P0171 or P0174 might point to a vacuum leak or a lean fuel condition. P0455 or P0456. That's likely your EVAP system, maybe just a loose gas cap. P0301 means a misfire on cylinder 1. P0302 is cylinder 2 and so on. These could be caused by bad spark plugs, coil packs or a fuel injector problem. If you scan it and get no code, that usually means the problem hasn't happened again recently. But if it does come back, now you'll know where to start. One more thing, even software glitches in the ECM or TCM can cause the light to flicker on and off. Not super common, but it happens especially if the car had a recent jump start or battery replacement. At the end of the day, the check engine light is your car's way of saying, hey, something's not quite right. It might be minor. It might not affect drivability right away, but random CEL activity is still worth checking out before it becomes a bigger issue, like poor gas mileage, rough idle, or long-term damage to components like the catalytic converter. So yeah, if the light pops on and off, scan it anyway. 
check the gas cap, look for vacuum leaks, clean your MAF sensor, and if you're not sure, take note of when it happens, cold starts, rain, after refueling, that info helps a lot when you're diagnosing. Alright, that's it for this one, hope it helped. If you're chasing a code, check out the videos or guides for those too. Catch you in the next one.